duplicate content means so Google screens the websites, and if um, the the uh, match is more than eighty percent, like uh, it differs less than twenty percent, then it's called duplicate content. The information. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, it, the the content has to be different. At least eighty uh, percent of the content has to be different. And I was talking about uh, I was talking about um, the real estate workshop I had a few weeks ago. There were and um, they were like, oh no, the, the, that was actually last week. I had a presentation at SCORE, and there was a account. And he's like, I got a website, but I mean, accounting that's the same and it doesn't change and how am I supposed to, you know, like have unique content if it's always the same? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Um, but what you can do that is, if you have something like this, you can enrich your content with unique content. You can, you know, yeah, even though the accounting rules are the same, and you know, like all the all the 100 uh, accounting companies have the same stuff on your site. You can have, for example, testimonial videos on your site and be like, yeah, so this is a client, a uh, small or medium-sized business, and I say he signed up with me a year ago, and I saved him four thousand dollars, and now with four thousand dollars, he went to the Bahamas or went to Tahiti, or he bought, you know, he optimized his website and. So and you put this on your site, and it's a total different, totally different ballgame. Then you have unique content, and you actually have content people like because if you know, like Yelp works like this. Yelp is only testimonials, and people look at this. So this is, for example, something I told them: try this out. You know, like put some testimonials on the uh, testimonials on there, or if you have books that you recommend, if somebody wants to do it himself, or if you have. Uh, tips and tricks, so to say, just put them on there, and yeah, this is this is unique.